What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate reverse rants no hate. So let me talk about Raleigh Romero versus Avery Sparrow. Um, he looked better in this fight. <clears throat> you know, of course, Sparrow is not as good as Jackson Martinez. Um, Sparrow is... is to try and gauge how good Romero is by beating him is, is um, my opinion as far as him beating the top guys hasn't changed. I don't think he can. I mean, if he can, it'll be because he catch him with something and knock somebody out. Other than that, yeah, um, he won the fight. That's what's important. Okay, he won, and it wasn't even close. He got buzzed a couple of times. Because he, you know, he chose to stand and just bang him. You know, it was, he wasn't really showing a lot of boxing skills at all. It, it was just, you know, he went for the kill the whole fight. He got a knockdown. Um, he got a point deduction for hitting the guy low. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people were saying he dropped him twice, but he didn't. He, he, he did drop him, but it was a low blow. Um, he has power. He has aggression. Um, he has heart. It probably looks really impressive to people who can't fight themselves or to, to lesser fighters. But and it's not to rip him, you know. I don't, you know, it's not, it's not the case at all. But just to be honest about it, um, to that type of opposition, you should be able to walk through. But the way he did it was, like I said, power, aggression, just coming forward. You know, I'm I'm coming to knock you out. That's that was his approach. Now. Assuming that he adjusts to try to, you know, fight to, 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 to fight different fighters in the way that he should to beat them, let's just say that that's the case. You know, that's yet to be seen. We'll see. But comparing this fight to his last fight with Jackson, yeah, he looked better. He he liked, he was throwing his punches sharper and quicker, throwing them very hard. Like I said, going for the knockout with every punch. You know, um, the fight was stopped. You know, the corner stopped the fight. The guy was taking a lot of punishment. Um, these are the type of fights, like I said, you know, in previous videos, when a guy loses, even though, you know, that they use that type of fight a lot of times as a confidence builder. And um, so he looks more impressive. Um, I don't really think anybody's changed their opinion on how they see Raleigh Romero in terms of where he stands. You know, against the other elite guys. You know, he did a video after that interview saying he'll fight anybody at his weight class. Um, you know, and and, and we 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 want to see these fights, of course. Um, but do I think he'll beat Ryan Garcia? No, unless he catches him and knock him out. I don't think he beats Tank. I don't think um that 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 he beats Teofimo Lopez. I, you know, I, I just, I don't see it. Um, but it can happen, like I said, with the, with, with the possibility of a knockout. I see all of them, Devin Haney. I see all of them outboxing him. I see, I just, I don't see him beating any of those guys. However, he got the job done. Strong, hard punches, aggression, heart. He was determined to win. The shots that he got rocked with. Now, people jump conclusions and, oh, man, he got a suspect chin. First of all, it's boxing, man. You get rocked with a, we get hit with a hard shot and, you know, it's not suspect, bro. You know, we're human beings. We're not robots. You understand what I mean? You get hit with a soft touch. Yeah, I can understand somebody saying that. But somebody rocked you with a, with a power shot, clean and, and kind of, you know, I mean, People, people love the, yo, it's Chen Suspect, it's Chen Suspect. There's no fighter in the world, man, okay, ever, dead or alive, who, 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 who doesn't feel pain. No matter how much you might not show it, you know what I'm saying? But, like, no, I don't think Riley has a suspect chin. I think, plain and simple, you saw, if you saw the fight, he got hit with some clean, hard shots. And he got wobbled. He wasn't, like, staggering around the ring. You just, you just see him do a quick pow, like, legs kind of, you know, did a little funny 
split second dance. Um, no, I don't think he has no suspect chin. He just got caught with a good, with, with clean shots, but he was getting caught with such clean shots because he would plant his feet, stand there, throw a hard shot, he just to stand there like he's, he's he's trying to knock this guy out. And when the guy catches the shot, counter bam, he's catching with flush shots. You know it happens several couple times in the fight, but he did what he had to do. You know, props to him for his win. You know, but um, <clears throat> just because I know people make those comparisons and people are going to say what you think, how you think he'll do against this guy. Or, and they're going to make the statement, I don't think he'll beat this guy, that guy. My opinion on that hasn't changed. I would have to see him do it to, you know, believe it. And it's not like it's impossible, but I would put my money on those other guys to beat him. Um, on to something else as well, with, uh, um, you know, in this little mixed bag video. You know, um, there's a situation going on, and it, it's it's hypocritical, man. You know, a lot of, you're gonna have people that like it, then you're gonna have a lot of people that don't like it. Um, I don't take any of it to heart. So if I say I don't like something, it's not like I'm losing sleep over it. I'm really mad or feel some kind of way. I mean, just the thought of it. Mm, I'm not for it. Look, when Tiafimo Lopez <clears throat> beat Lomachenko, Tiafimo Lopez said it's our time. He was saying that it's that you're gonna see the best fight the best now. This is this is our time, and it's you're gonna see it's a change in boxing, right? And <clears throat> you know, I said in the video, I hope that that's what actually happens. You know, prior videos to that one, I said, you know, everybody seen and want to fight Floyd and Pacquiao. We know where the bag of money's coming from. We know where the bigger bags are coming from. Okay, Floyd's retired. He's fighting exhibitions. Why are people still calling out Floyd? Pacquiao. You know, still has some fight in him. You know, he holds a title in, in the division. And, and, you know, he's 42 years old now. My thing is, what I don't like is this. Ryan Garcia, okay, was Devin Haney's mandatory. You know, people actually said Devin Haney was ducking guys. and Oh, he was trying to get the fight with Gary Russell. Gary Russell, him, you know, oh, man, the contract was this and that. And it didn't say this and all this, whatever. And. All of a sudden, you know, he was trying to get that fight, and he fought Gamboa. Outboxed him completely. I didn't give Gamboa not one round. And all you heard was he looked like shit. Oh, man, he has no power. Oh, and it's like, you know, some people just ask for too much. Okay. Um, sometimes it's just like that. I mean, look at Burt Cooper. We saw him fight Holyfield. And we've seen Burt Cooper get dropped. Holyfield did drop him in the fight once, but I mean... I think it was a body shot that folded him, if I remember correctly. But regardless, Holyfield was hitting that dude with some bombs. Burt Cooper just was not going down, man. That guy was like, nah. That night, it was just, sometimes it's just like that. Haney was catching Gamboa. Gamboa wasn't going anywhere. Okay, bottom line is he completely outclassed. It was a master class boxing display by, by, by Haney. Um, I don't focus on what people say. What they say doesn't change the reality of what, we, what actually happened. But... Ryan Garcia was Devin Haney's mandatory. And, you know, he talked a lot. I, I want to fight, I want to fight, I want to fight. Okay, and then he ends up in a fight with Pacquiao. And I'm saying, wait a minute. First off, Pacquiao is not even in his weight class. What, like, what, what, what is this? First, he was talking about fighting Tiafimo Lopez. That, that's the word that I was getting from out of his mouth and out of Tiafimo's mouth that, nah, yeah, it was like, you know, like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fighting Ryan Garcia. Okay, remember when Mikey Garcia fought Errol Spence? And at the end, that Manny Pacquiao was in the ring. And remember when Errol Spence said he wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao, right? And Pacquiao, oh, yeah, he make the fight. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it didn't happen. And then now, Manny Pacquiao a couple of weeks ago was saying Errol Spence is too slow. It's like we're back to the same thing again. You know, um, if you want to just put a sleeping dog to rest and say, okay, I beat Manny Pacquiao, it's going to be an unfair situation. One, you still have more people that think Pacquiao will destroy Ryan Garcia. And the unfair side of it is going to be, hey, man, if he beats Pacquiao, or Pacquiao was old. In his prime, he would have blah, blah, blah. And it's always the same thing. Look, man, when you climb in that ring, you got to be ready to go to war. And there's no excuse about 
the age. It's like like when somebody get hurt, somebody's injured, and then oh, don't make excuses. Same thing. Don't make excuses about age because just like if Keith Thurman would have beat him, they would have said the same thing. Pacquiao is just one of those guys that people just like no, they gonna they put him at God status like. You know, he's in God body at all times, man. And we can't say nothing bad about Pacquiao. No, it's not about saying anything bad about Pacquiao. It's the whole point of people just have this biased way of thinking. But even if he beats Ryan Garcia, it, it, I mean, Ryan Garcia ruins himself if he loses. You have a mandatory WBC title shot and you basically abandon that to go fight Tiafimo Lopez. But then, no, now you're fighting Pacquiao. It's crazy. And then all this, oh, but he's such a big fan. It'll be an honor. Man, stop with all this nonsense, man. We don't want to see, to be perfectly honest with you, I get it. But, you know, it's so hypocritical, man, and, and how people like to, they put certain people on pedestals. I remember Terry Norris being a 30-year-old. Beast Bugatti. Who held the title at 154 at the top? Oh, the beast was old. 30 years old? This man is 30 years old, and you're calling him old. When he was old, he, he was the champ. Nobody was calling him old before he got knocked out. And basically, the general consensus was that he's going to destroy Terry Norris, man. This dude fought Marvin Hagler, and he did this, and people were sleeping, and Terry knocked his ass out in the first round, and it was, oh, he was old. And it's always when a legend or somebody who, who has has a good report with the, with the, you know, with the fans, and, you know, he's old, he's old. Um, look, we've been talking for the longest. Who you want to see fight? Tank Davis and Lopez, or Ryan Garcia and Tank, you know, Devin Haney and, um, on, on TFM, who, you, and then all of a sudden, here, Pacquiao names comes, comes into play. Just like when, when, when Pacquiao was called out by, 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 by Terrence Crawford, you guys got to, I mean, um, by old Spence, you got to understand, we, we was wanting to see Spence and Crawford. You know, we want to see Spence and Thurman. We want to see, you know, th these guys keep chasing these older guys, man. And it's one of these situations where, like, if you're calling out people that's not even in your weight class, what's the purpose of this fight? So is Ryan Garcia going to go to 147? Is Pacquiao going to come down to 135? Are they going to meet someone who's going to be a catch? I mean, I don't, I don't understand why it's like now, nothing, like I said, nothing's changed. It's, it's just the same thing. People are calling out people, oh, I'll do this and that. I'll knock this guy out in two rounds, but, but yet I'm not going to fight him. And my thing is, you are mandatory for a title shot. You've been working your ass off to get here, and then all of a sudden you, you want Pacquiao. But first, you said you wanted Lopez, and then that fight looked like it's going to is confirmed. Like it, it, it's it's like yeah, it's, it's like it's a done deal. They're going to fight, and then now nah, nothing. So I mean, I, I don't understand. You know, Raleigh Romero fought Jackson Martinez. This fight was steps down. This guy was not on Jackson Martinez's level. Who he fights next, I don't know. But you know, I would rather see these guys stick their claim and you guys battle out to see who the best fighter is. If you're going to try to unify your division or whatever it's going to be. But yet, people are pointing fingers at the wrong people. I don't dev think Devin Haney's running from anybody. I don't think Tank Davis is running from anybody. You know what I'm saying? And then, he said, Ryan Garcia said he wanted Tank Davis. It's like, okay, you, you guys, a call out is not an actual challenge. A call out is, I want to fight such and such. Now, are we going to send contracts? We're going to sit down and have conversations. What are we going to do? We're going to make this happen. I, all I'm hearing is a lot of nonsense, man. And I know a person think if they beat Pacquiao, it's going to you know, elevate their career. No, it's not. It's not. Even if he went out there and knocked Pacquiao out in one round. Don't people understand? They're going to say, the majority of the people are going to say, if Pacquiao was in his prime, that would have never happened. And along with the fact that it's unfair, regardless, the point is, you're not going to get credit for that. People are not going to care. They're going to, they're going to nah, Pacquiao would have destroyed this guy. And they're going to take offense, just like Larry Holmes beating Ali. People hated Larry Holmes for that. You understand what I'm saying? Because this is, this is Ali. So it's like, nah, man, they hated Larry Holmes for that. 
you know, ah, we had financial situations. That fight, you know, we we know the things that we know now that was happening before that fight. That fight should have never happened. But Ali was in a bad financial state. With Pacquiao, this is not the case. Pacquiao still can fight, though. Ali was done. But why are you guys not fighting each other? What was all that speech TFAMO gave? And the thing about it, man, is like all these little secret conversations that these guys have on the phone and all this and that. And they're talking and then all of a sudden, you know, Mike Tyson sat down with Ryan Garcia. He sat down with Devin Haney. You know, make the fights happen, man. You guys are young, and you right now you're in your prime. Stop, stop with this waiting, waiting, waiting. You say one thing, but then do something else. Because when the way Tiafimo was talking, people felt good, and that's one of the reasons why the, the 135, 130 division, the, those divisions is like so hot because it's only five pound difference. Guy can jump up. It's nothing, you know. And people was yeah, yeah. I want to see that fight. I want to see him and you know, like I said, Tank Davis and. You know, Devin Haney and all these names coming up, Shakur, Shakur Stevenson, all these different people that are saying that they want to see fight. Raleigh Romero, you know, even though people think he'll get beaten, I do too. But at the end of the day, it's like all that talking just to end up going after a 42-year-old Manny Pacquiao and abandoning your mandatory status. Now, is it fair that you do that and then turn around and let's say you lose? Then what? Then what? Then you're going to go begging, calling somebody out, and then saying the guy's running from you. I've been calling this guy out after you threw your opportunity away. Okay, let's say you win. Is someone supposed to wait for you? I mean, I don't know who Tia Fimo's going to fight. And, like, he's the way he's been talking lately is, like, he's getting real cocky, real arrogant, all this um, A-side stuff, and just talking like he just got it like that to just fight whoever he wants. And my thing is, he claimed he was fighting Ryan Garcia. You know, that's what the fight that we thought was going to actually happen, that he, Ryan Garcia, turns down the WBC um, mandatory spot to go fight Tia Fimo. And because it's for the titles, people feel like, okay, well, he, he, he'll be unified. Okay, cool. <clears throat> but what happens? He's going after somebody who's not even in his weight class. I don't want to hear all the fanboy... Oh, it's an honor. He's oh, oh, I really respect him. Oh, he's my idol. I don't even want to hear all of that. It's like, you know, if, if you do what you want to do. But at the end of the day, it just makes no sense to me. So for people that might be excited about it, I'm really not. I'm, I'm just really not. It's like these guys are strategically trying to go after. Let, let me look. Pacquiao's 42. This is not so much, you know, it's an honor. I, no. You know, when a fighter gets older, people always press a jump on him. He don't have the same stuff he used to. Might be a big mistake. You understand what I'm saying? Because Pacquiao still might have another big fight left in him. But at the end of the day, it's like, where is all of this same energy to fight the guys in your generation? The reason you had, they made such a big deal about Hearns, Leonard, Hadler, Duran. Not just because they were great fighters, because they all fought each other. Okay? They all fought each other. If you took that all, all four of those guys and they never fought each other, it wouldn't have been called a golden era. It's that was the exclamation point to the to the whole, you know, all those guys fought each other. That's you know, they, they leave Wolf well, Benitez didn't fight all of them, but they leave him out. You know, but Benitez they had they had some solid fighters that was there. But they all fought each other. And mark my words, if those guys didn't all fight each other, and let's say it was the same thing. They're fighting everybody but everybody else. You know, um, Aaron Pryor was another guy. You know, his name was out there. Um, he wanted to fight Sugar Ray. And, of course, everybody wanted to chase the cash cow. You know, we know how that goes. But what I'm saying is the fact that they fought each other, it's not just a story to tell, but the way the fights played out. You know, of course, the worst out of the whole thing was, was Hearns and Duran because Duran got knocked out in two rounds. But the whole point is what they accomplished in their careers without each other, that you combine it together, is that much greater. Without fighting each other, no. It, it, it would have been a huge fail because in what they accomplished, you can't take from them, but it, it, it wouldn't 
shine as bright as it did, that situation, because it's like you you guys were all there in the same era. Why didn't y'all fight? You know, or, you know, why wait so long? What if the first time Hearns and Leonard fought would have been when they fought the second time? What if the first time Leonard and Durant fought, fought when it was the third time? That You know, because when they got older and then Durant was, you know, it, it, it wasn't the same thing. So I'm talking about the significance of them fighting in their primes. That's the whole point of what I'm saying. And you guys all is calling out, calling out. I, I'll say this. From what I'm looking at, Devin Haney looked like he want these fights. Tank Davis looked like he want these fights. Right now, Tiafimo Lopez is tripping. Like I said, he, he he's getting a big swelled head, man. He's sitting there acting all arrogant and cocky now. And like like I said, like he just pick, can pick and choose to just, yeah, like he's the franchise champion or something now. You know, like, yeah, I can just pick and choose who I want. Oh, man, this and this and this. He's just talking a lot of trash now. And now Ryan Garcia doing what he's doing. Like I said, I'm not I'm not excited about Ryan Garcia versus Pacquiao at all. I'm 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 not. I don't even give a shit if it's a great fight. I'm just not because of the principles. You know, it, it's like, come on, man, this is your era. You're supposed to be, you know, somebody want to say, okay, I'll put the nail and pack the owl's coffin or whatever it may be, so be it. But I can't get up for that fight. For those who understand where I'm coming from, I'm pretty sure you know, you, 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 that feel, you know where I'm coming from. But for people, oh, this is a great fight. I mean, if you enjoy it, hey, you gotta, Knock yourself out. But I'm just not, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm, I'm not feeling it. You know, um, I just feel like you guys have something that you can stop building right now. So if there's going to be trilogies and all that and second fights and trilogies and all that, you guys, could, I mean, let's let's look. I'm not, I'm not even into rematches and all that, really. It, it depends on the scenario. But you guys right now ha have the opportunity to, you know, what, what, what's stopping you guys? What's holding everything up? Aside from people trying to save the biggest and best fights, hopefully for a live crowd and all of that, okay, yeah, I get that. But to turn around and all this name calling, uh, talking smack about each fighter after after the guy's a fight, oh, man, this and that, and that, yeah, I, I did this, oh, he didn't look that good or whatever, then you call each other's names, but then now nothing's happening. So my whole thing is when you guys know that you're right there to fight each other and when you're asked the question about fighting the next guy and yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, whatever, but then it's like you'll fight, you, you, you'll, you'll fight anybody other than the next guy that's right there in the same seat with you. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. And like I said earlier, it's just the same shit all over again, man. Name calls, but, but yet you go fight somebody else. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man, about the whole, all this whole scenario, this whole situation with, 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 with Ryan Garcia being a mandatory for Devin Haney, but choosing to go after Manny Pacquiao after he said first he was fighting Tiafimo Lopez. We all heard it, you know, and Tiafimo Lopez said it, you know, now he's fighting Pacquiao. What did y'all think about Riley Romero's um, performance? Do you guys feel any different about where he stands in that division now? Versus when he fought Martinez, did you think he looked better? You know, um, the improvements, did you see the improvements? And do you think right now that he's in that conversation? Let me know in the comments. Look, never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people. That's all I'm going to say in this video. I will catch y'all on the next one.